Leblanc in Napa Valley. And first thing I want to say is shout out to the dry heat. I come from humidity and my hair is looking and lasting chef's kiss because I don't have to worry about the humidity or even my makeup. Love that. So it's a nice little humidity break. Um, I'll put a clip in here of what I used. I arrived yesterday and it was just like a long travel day and, and all that. I'll also insert some clips of what I was doing last night. But today we have a full day of tasting and events and dinners and all that. So I'm here with wine access and yeah. So I just wanna show you how I've been caring for my hair. I just cut some face framing layers in and I'm loving it. So it's looking really nice and um, I'll take you along today, show you what I do, how I maintain my hair while I'm here this week, and hope you enjoy. <music> basically went to three different places and had three different experiences so you can see like my lips are red I've had cab all day <laughs> today but I have 15 minutes to get ready for a very very fancy Michelin star meal and I want to go for an updo today so yeah I need to touch up on makeup which actually still looks pretty good given it was a million degrees so I really just need to like powder and put on some lipstick I've already ironed my dress so 15 minutes starting now this is gonna stay this is not a good angle but look at that view are you serious right now okay so for this updo i am going to leave my bangs out for now i'm gonna leave those out for now and then okay my <laughs> ever so handy dandy ygn satin puff pull babes Love her. So then I'm gonna pull the hair up. We're gonna tighten this. Like, is that as tight as it goes? No way, that's as tight as it goes. I don't know. Maybe it is, but that's okay. All right, so now I'm gonna take some bobby pins. I'm gonna start, okay, I'm gonna stick a little bit more in here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now I'm gonna take my bobby pins and I'm just gonna start pinning a few. Yeah, a 
lobster salad tart. A piece of herbs from the garden. But... 20 years. I love what they're doing. made it to the second part of my trip the first part was like you know a guided trip that I was invited to and then now I'm staying an extra like day and a half just to myself and um, I'm gonna do some fun activities yesterday I was rushing so hard <laughs> I showed you a little bit of my hair I think um, hopefully and um, yeah I put it up in this little nice little updo because I was wearing this strapless dress which I just put back on today <laughs> I just love it so much, honestly, but I think I want to change out of it because I kind of want to wear it tomorrow during the day. Because last night I only had it on for like, I guess it was a long time. Our dinner was like four hours long. <laughs> so long. Um, but yeah, we went to like um, a restaurant called Press Napa Valley. It was like a seven course meal, um, you know, with wine pairings and stuff like that. So it was a very, very extensive meal. A lot of good conversation. It was awesome. And yeah, I'm going to show you more of my hair care. I mean, again, shout out to the dry heat baby because like my hair is just looking so good. Um, and then I, you know, use my best of the best products as well. But yeah, I'm just rocking the fro today and I'll show you how I've been sleeping on it. And I'm going to another nice dinner tonight. So we'll see what we do. And yeah, can't wait to take you along. I am staying um, in downtown Napa at a, at a hotel called the Archer Hotel, just because it's close to like some of the activities that I wanna do tomorrow. And, or that I'm going to do that I have booked in to do tomorrow. So yeah, it's been like a super duper fun trip. And I just, yeah, I, so much knowledge, so many connections, so much fun. It was just honestly, amazing and due to the late night yesterday i just had a nice lay-in i had a couple of meetings talked on the phone caught up with some family and stuff like that so um it's later on i want to go try to find some lunch because it's about noon i also do have a drink credit too with my reservation so i don't know maybe i'll do that later i don't know i'm doing wine pairings with my dinner tonight so yeah <laughs> i'm already gonna have enough alcohol um but we shall see. I do need to order some lunch. I'm gonna decide if I want to just go grab something from somewhere. Um, my dinner reservation is at 6.30. I wanted to make it a little earlier uh, just cause like I'm so low. So I don't wanna be out too, too late, you know. Hi, we are here getting ready for dinner. And, um, I just took a nap, but this is basically how I've been sleeping with my hair. Like half up this way, half down that way. <laughs> Just the FYI, yeah, this lighting is better over here. Let's see what I can do. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit better. Yeah. I got this uh, lip gloss from Ulta a couple weeks ago. It's Cherry Cherry Love by Julia's Place. It's literally so pretty. I think I'm wearing all white tonight, so I figure I have a little pop of color, you know. Anyway, I came on here to show you how I've been sleeping, but also um, what I brought for my hair. So this is the oil I brought, the Bon Bar Concentrate. It's like the uh, Sally's Sally Beauty Supplies version of like the Olaplex bonding oil. And I really like it and it's 10 bucks. It's great. It's, I try to oil my hair every day or every other day. So this is what I brought with me. Also cause it's really small, which I like. So I'll just put a few drops. Oil it up, oil it up, oil it up. Um, and I really would love to like pull my hair back tonight, but I don't know how that's gonna work out. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. Let me show how many lipstick on my teeth. 
Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly show you how I pull my hair back without like slicking it back because I don't wanna ruin my style. <laughs> so I just do it in little sections and I don't care about it being like ultra slick personally because it's just not necessary. And also I like doing this because it kind of diffuses the tension a little bit instead of just like pulling it all back and it's like really, really tight, especially up here. So it kind of gives it little anchors and stuff. My hair is pretty dense, especially since I cut the bangs in. So I'm just gonna take it little section by section, however many little sections I need to get it all back there. And then I'll use a little edge control if I need to. There we go. It's like you see that. I hope I brought enough ponytail holders, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, and this way, like, you don't need to make each section super tight either because it will all kind of come together. Honestly, pulling it over to the side doesn't look half bad either, now does it? <coughs> Honestly, I may just have to like pin in the short parts. But I don't know. This is my first time trying to pull it back um, with the haircut. So, okay. I'm probably just gonna have to pin this back. I have these little clips, which I started using recently. I, 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 they feel more comfortable on my head than bobby pins do sometimes. Okay, cool, okay, so we see we pin that back. I don't know, I may not like this at all. <laughs> try to make the part a little bit straighter. Okay, so we're gonna try to simulate this. Okay, okay, I'm digging it a little bit. Grab the clip right there. I may need one more. Hopefully I have one more so I can just like keep this little piece down. Oh yes, I do. How smart than I look. Okay. And then once you do it like this too, you just need less edge control. Like once you have it, like if you have it swooped over this way, cause no one's really seeing your edges. Yay. Okay, cool. And so it feels way more comfortable. Again, like my hair isn't pulling all right here. Like the tension is just diffused. Now, like not to say that it feels like sunshine and rainbows, but it is way better than if I were to just try to like pull it all back. All right, now here's my handy dandy toothbrush. Okay, so now I have one more ponytail holder, which at this point I've probably used a million of them, but that's okay. You do what you need to do. And I'm gonna make a little bun. This is a satin one. And if I had all satin ones with me, I would have used them the whole time, but I don't. The ribbon ties are like a close second for me. Yeah. I don't know. I might just do all bobby pins, to be honest. Mm, no. Okay, got some pieces sticking out, so I'm gonna try to pin these things down. Let's see. <laughs> this is a mess, y'all. But the things we do for a good bun, you know? Yeah, I don't know. It's something about having your hair pulled back when your dress is strapless. I feel like it looks really nice. Okay, that's, <laughs> I don't even know now. I'm starting to doubt this. We'll see when the whole look comes together. This is what we're looking like. Now I just need to find my edge control. Oh my God, I feel like I left my edge control at the last hotel. I'm so mad. But like, how? 
I do have a little bit of gel, so I'm gonna use that. So did I put it in here? I did it. Oh. False alarm. I was like, I knew I saw it. Here is my edge control. I'm just gonna put it right here on the edge. <laughs> no kidding, huh? Okay, I made the executive decision to switch this over to the side. I feel like that's gonna look really chic. And then I'm also gonna start the bun earlier in the process as well. Like that, okay. I like that better. So I probably should have put it more to the side, but oh well, I don't have time for that right now. <laughs> so, let's see if I can pull the camera for you. Yeah, and it's, it's pretty comfortable. I it's compact it's not going anywhere um and I don't have like pain earrings are on jewelry is on I'm gonna wash my hands because I before I put my outfit on because I am wearing white and I don't want any residual makeup or anything like that here is the full outfit the full look. Uh, this dress is from Target. I have it in black also, because it's really good. <laughs> this bag is Brandon Blackwood, the Kendrick trunk in white. And yeah, so do my hair. And my shoes are shoots or shuts, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I'm trying to, okay, here we go. Here is my hair and makeup and natural light. So just so you can see that. I realized I never did my room tour, but I love hotels with turn down service and they gave they gave me a little sweet treat remote right by the bed water like come on i just i love turn down service i'm gonna have to start doing this for myself at home so good i realized i never gave you guys a room tour so here is the room the room that i booked was like the surprise me room it was like the hotel will pick it for you just meaning like you know whatever they have They'll give. Sometimes it's an upgrade. Sometimes it's very basic, you know. So, I'm only here for one night, so I, I wasn't super picky. But this is what they gave me. I already showed you the bed. So this is what it looks like after they've turned it down in the evening. After I return from dinner, that is like the mini bar area. So yeah, I mean, all this <laughs> obviously all this costs money except the cost. Anyway, my phone was messing with me. So like I was saying. That is a fridge, that's the mini bar. They even, look at these snacks. I'm not gonna touch any because I don't want them to charge me. <laughs> but they have candy, chocolate, nuts, chocolate, potato chips, perfect wine snacks. And I'm gonna be using that coffee in the morning, safe, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and then here they give you lots of Fiji water, which is very nice. Um, these are my vitamins. <laughs> and then they actually, actually gave like some local salted caramels, which are actually really good. I don't like love caramel all that much, but those were excellent. And then I uh, yeah, just have my bag there. This is where the iron is, laundry service, cards, all that. The front door, this mirror. My, I literally have like a food baby. <laughs> uh, I ate so good today. And then here is the bathroom, which is like kind of messy. I'm not going to show you that part because I was just getting ready. But yeah, here is the shower, which I'm about to hop in and all the things. They also give you slippers, which is nice. And I actually need to put these on. And all of that. So yeah, it's a great place. And I'll show you the lobby as well tomorrow before I embark on my activities and drop my baggage and check out and all that. But it's a great hotel. And then of course, like here's the window. I don't really have like a good view <laughs> or anything. So I'm no need to show you that. How's this light? Okay. Because I drank a lot of wine this evening, I'm gonna have a liquid IV with this water before I go to bed. I think I'm gonna take one Excedrin. I'm gonna take my vitamins, like all that. 
I don't think that I overdid it, but you know, you just never know. It's also super hot. You have to hydrate, like all the things. So just pro tip. I don't know if you also even heard me say that at dinner, but yeah, this is like my little um, chocolates that they gave me at Latoque. Uh, oh my God, it was so freaking incredible. Um, I actually have this book by Jancis Robinson, so it's nice they included this with the room and the little prints. Like, how cute. Um, I really, yeah, like this hotel chain. Also, when you book with this hotel, you do get a beverage credit, $25. Is it a night? I think it's $25 a night that you get. Um, though, <laughs> I, like I said, I drank a lot of wine tonight already as the pairings with my meals and my courses. I did start off with a, a non-alcoholic mocktail because it's just already a lot of alcohol. I said all that to say, honestly, I don't know <laughs> if I'm going to use that credit at all because <laughs> I'm only here for one evening. I've already drank a lot. And then tomorrow I'm going to the wine train, which you don't really get a lot of wine with it that comes with it. You actually, it's more so food. Um, but I do think I get like one glass um, and then I'm going to going to a winery after that. So I don't I'm like I'm not going to need that. Uh, but it's just like a nice perk. It's very sweet. They kind of put all my evening stuff <laughs> right here on a towel. <laughs> yeah, I, I love turn down service. And also love a hotel that gives you like a dark makeup remover washcloth. Very sustainable. Love it. I have like a bunch of black washcloths at home. So it makes it kind of feel at home, I think. So yeah, I just basically wanted you to see like once I took my hair down, like it didn't completely ruin my style because I didn't wet it and like slick it down and put a bunch of product in it. So like it looks a little funky right now, but you know, once I sleep on it, wake up, it's going to like go back to normal and I'm like look fine, you know? So yeah, <laughs> survive the sleek back bun for the night. Lipstick obviously is gone. <laughs> Last day, let me step out. Here's my hair takedown. I'm so excited because I'm getting on the wine train today, which I've been wanting to do for forever. So, what a time. I think I'm just gonna wear my hair down today. See how easy that was? And then, yeah, you know, I wore my hair back yesterday, but it's not ruined. I didn't like slick it back with product, but still, you know, got to switch it up a little bit. And um, I oiled it this morning as well before I got into the shower. I could wear half up, half down, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go big and curly. So here we go. Love a good fro and lipstick moment, you know? Here we are, now let's go on the wine train. I love this lipstick. This is Rich on Tea by The Lip Bar. It's so pretty, it's like pink. It's, it's pretty, it's like a fuchsia. Now it's time to check out. And there is a tropical storm <laughs> in, where, like, in my area where I live tonight. So um, hopefully everything, my flight and everything stays the way it is, that'd be great. There's the full outfit dress is Target. For my two activities today, these kids leather sneakers and then my white, red and black wig. <laughs> by my driver <laughs> and I needed to hurry up and get to the airport but I literally flew back home like this and um yeah I just oops I just took this comb and I've been like kind of massaging my scalp and I'm getting ready to wash my hair because I have some things to do this weekend and she's looking a little dusty and crusty but overall I think it held up 
really nicely. I was able to get a variety of styles in. I will put in the two videos that I used to cut my bangs at home, just so you can see. And this video is probably gonna be all over the place. I apologize about that. <laughs> but it was kind of like a business trip, so yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll link everything down below. If you have any questions, let me know. See you in my next one. Bye.